Hey guys, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. Now, by far, one of the most asked questions on my channel is what camera do you use, what computer do you use, and what editing software do you use to make your fishing videos? Well, today I thought I'd make a video all about the gear I use to make my videos happen. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so the main camera I use on the channel is the Panasonic Lumix G7, and this is a fantastic camera, uh, relatively inexpensive, it does 4K at 30 frames a second, it also does 1080p at 60 frames a second, which is what I shoot in most times, so I can slow it down and get that slow motion. Uh, it's got a flip around screen so I can film vlog style and see myself, it's really, really helpful, and it has interchangeable lenses so I can put all kinds of different lenses on it, it is just fantastic. I also have a small rig metal cage that goes around the camera to keep it safe from drops. I also have a secondary camera, the Panasonic Lumix G6. This is still a great camera. I flip around the screen and does 1080p at 60 frames a second. No 4K, but I don't really shoot in 4K, so it's not a big issue. We use this secondary camera a lot when we're filming episodes like the Fish Off, so we can film uh, from multiple different angles. As far as lenses go, I use three different types of lenses to make my videos. The first lens, and the lens I use the most, is the 14 to 42 kit lens. Uh, this lens came with the camera, and it is a fantastic lens. The secondary lens, and the lens I love to use a lot, is the 25mm 1.7. Now, this is a fantastic lens. It is a fixed focal length of 25mm, but it has an aperture of 1.7, which allows me to get that shallow depth of field and that beautiful bokeh. And last but not least, I have a zoom lens, the 35-100 to f2 constant aperture lens. Now, this lens is probably the most expensive lens of the bunch, but it is definitely worth the money. It has a super sharp image, and it allows you to zoom really far in. As far as action cameras go, the GoPro Hero is the one that I roll with. It's a very standard camera. It does not have an LCD screen, but basically, it's a $100 GoPro that shoots 1080p, and I can strap it to my chest and my head and get those POV shots. When it comes to video, sound is very, very important, and there's two types of microphones I use. The first one is a $30 Tascar onboard shotgun mic. I use this on my camera all the time, especially when we're running and gunning. It's very nice. It does a decent job of picking up audio. But if I want to take my audio quality up a little bit, I use a Ceramonic wireless mic. This mic is like 90 bucks, and it's really awesome. It allows me to walk away from the camera and still have very, very good audio. As far as the tripod that I use, I use a Targus tripod that I bought for like $50 at Walmart. It's got a fluid head and allows me to get decent panning shots, although this thing is about shot. Now it's on to post-production gear and software. As far as the computer that I edit with, it is a 2012 MacBook Pro with 8 gigs of RAM and a 2.5 gigahertz processor. As far as editing software goes, I love Final Cut Pro X. Um, this software is blazing fast, especially on a Mac. Uh, the render speeds are incredible fast. The performance is great it handles video so well so guys there you go that is all the gear i use to make my fishing videos yes i have a lot of it partly because i'm a camera nerd and a gear junkie and the other part is i do other freelance video work besides just making fishing videos so it makes sense for me to have a wide range of gear for a lot of different applications but if you're just starting out uh, making youtube videos you don't need a whole lot of gear you basically need a camera and a microphone for crying out loud the video you just watched was shot on my smartphone, which is an LG G4 smartphone that is two or three years old. So you definitely don't need high-end expensive gear to make decent content. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have another fish off in the works, and it'll be coming out on the channel soon, so look forward to that. I know you guys love those. I'm also going to have some more fishing videos coming up. I've been really busy with work, but I'm finally getting back into the rhythm of making videos again, and I'm super excited about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time.